Hey guys, what's up? Bianca here and welcome back to my channel with the beautiful Cassie joined here on the Pilates mat today. So for the next 20 minutes, we'll, we'll be going through our full moon. We have our full moon this month in Leo, our full moon flow class. So if you guys are anything like me, I don't know if your January and bit of February probably wasn't exactly what you anticipated. Um, we know that Mercury and Venus were in reverse and planet of Jupiter has been in the water sign of Pisces. But that being said, we have a lot of new fiery energy with the water, uh, sorry, with the water sign, with the earth sign of Leo there coming into fruition. So there's some things changing. With that being said, though, with this beautiful full moon happening on the 16th of February, I always like to start with a beautiful intention. So I would urge you guys and hope that you guys would join me here. We're going to start by placing our right hand on our heart center and our left hand there on the belly button area on the stomach and just start by breathing into those two points. Yeah. So I really want you guys to take a nice, beautiful, conscious, deep inhale and exhale out through the mouth, in through the nose. Yeah. And if you feel like choosing for this next 20 minutes, any kind of intention you wish to set for the new cycle, you know, something that you wish to work on or something that you maybe wish to let go, anything, even if it's just doing this class, then feel free to join me in with that intention as we continue to breathe for a few seconds. Good, guys. Just feeling that breath lengthening from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. Well done. Good, guys. All right. And let's start the class today by just placing our hands on our knees, just coming into our body and just starting by dropping that chin towards the chest. And we're just going to go off to the left side with a little semicircle here from one side to the other. Yeah, so just moving that ear from the right to the left, finding a small circular motion, back of the cranium. Halsverbesäule auf Deutsch. Ich dachte mir vielleicht rede ich heute auf Deutsch, aber I started in English, so let's continue in English. Yeah, we're just finding that nice stretch there from one side to the other side, all the way from the shoulder girdle up to the earlobe. Yeah, that should feel nice and soft. No stress, no tension. This is a flow class, so really take the time that you need for any exercises if you want to repeat anything as well. Let's drop the chin down to the chest. We're going to curl the lower back and bring those shoulders up, around and back. Just going for a beautiful large circular action or movement here yeah from the shoulder girdle from the shoulders you want to bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears bringing in any tension and then just getting rid of it releasing anything good we're going to take this a little bit higher by reaching those elbows up around back and down so just getting rid of any tension you want to think of i like to inhale taking in the crappy energy and exhale you know getting rid of that tension getting rid of that energy that no longer serves us all right guys last set and we're going to go for a big circle here. Yeah, getting quite excited. Any energy building here as Cassie is sensing that, feeling that. And of course, making sure that we are doing it with love. You know, moving into that Leo is quite a loyal, passionate sign. Good. And she's definitely feeling that one. All right, guys, just feeling that stretch there we, before we move on. Yeah. Good. Let's do three little, let's say pull and release. Yeah. This one I just like to do when I'm personally, you know, dancing or something. I just try to take all the tension in the body and then just let it go and release. Good, guys. And relax. Well done, everyone. Let's turn onto our knees and come onto our hands as well. Coming into our first child's pose from here. So you want to bring the butt back onto the heels and reach those fingertips nice and long forward. Good. And you can move the shoulders here left and right. Also releasing that third eye, you know, massaging that out, getting that pineal gland nice and open there as well. And then we're going to press forward, drop the toes, coming to our first downward dog for today's class. Yeah. The toes are in line with the knees, knees in line with the hips. And we're just going to stay here for a few breaths and then slowly start by bringing that left toe forward and that right foot back. You're either going to drop the knee down if this is a little bit too difficult for you or you're just not feeling it. And with that knee either down or or up, we're going to go for three rotations here. As you can see, same knee, same arm. So you have that left arm and that left knee. So crossing over, right? One more, guys. I'm going to hold this stretch out. We're going to reach the fingertips nice and long, looking up to that drishti point. So that third finger, the middle finger, you want to open the chest. And if you can rotate a little bit further there into that twist, feel free to open that heart center to the sky. Exhale, dropping down. Draw that left foot back and coming into your triangle stretch, yeah? So you want to just drop the head and the crown of the head towards the foot, coming as far down as you can today, this evening, this morning, wherever, whenever you are doing 
this workout. Yeah, this should feel nice. Yeah, this this workout is not intended to be too difficult. At the same time, we are creating a nice energy. So keep that work going, guys. Second downward dog from here. And let's just walk through the toes. Yeah, so going from demi point to demi point, lifting those heels up one after the other. We have about 10 here. Yeah, they should feel nice and relaxed, nice and soft there in the hamstrings, in the knees, in the quads in the hips beautiful guys pressing back into your downward dog i think we have that second side so let's bring now those right tippy toes forward drop that knee down at the back if that is your preferred option here that right hand reaches the sky inhale with your exhale you're going to come back down yeah we have three sets so two more to go going for the long lunge option here as i'm showing you guys exhale drop down one last one here you're reaching that right arm nice and high to the sky opening that shoulder girdle that chest that pec Good. All the way also from the left shoulder, as I was showing you guys. Good. Opening up that heart to the sky. Yeah. Taking that beautiful prana, baby. And let's take those toes back. All right, guys. Finding your downward dog. And slowly but surely, I want us to jump or walk the toes forward. Coming into a beautiful ragdoll of forward bend. You can take the elbows or you can take the tippy toes. You can take the ankles. Again, this is time for you to feel good bending and stretching the knees if you feel like it good and then guys once you are ready let's bend the knees and roll up slowly from the base of the pelvis all the way to the crown of the head beautiful let's step forward serena mascara a or sun salutation let's reach the arms to our ceiling to the sky inhale with your exhale you're going to bend forward i want you to step the feet back one after the other right left chaturanga dandasana so you can bend the knees or come into a full chaturanga inhale upward facing dog finding that beautiful chest expansion with the exhale pressing back into your downward dog from here we're going to go for a little rock star here so bring those tippy toes together that right leg is going to reach up you're going to flex those toes and i want you guys to open the hips out towards the right side so towards me or towards the front wherever you're watching this workout your camera your computer and you want to really feel that hip expanding opening up there through the pelvis through the belly button this one can be challenging please do not fall over <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer guys challenge yourself but yeah don't hurt yourself all right guys let's come back yeah beautiful i would say let's go straight for our second side right are you guys ready you're gonna lengthen the toes flexing that foot and then that toe and that heel is going to come towards the other side so you want to find that nice hip opening there you're beautiful guys that should feel nice in the hip joint in the glutes in the hamstring in the calf muscle wherever you're feeling tight this is just going to release any tension good pointing those toes and let's come back to our downward facing dog all right second chaturanga guys either bending the knees which i'm going to show you guys now or coming into your full upward facing dog your full chaturanga inhale with your exhale coming back into your downward dog one more time all right guys holding it out here for a few breaths about three breaths here inhale exhale inhale exhale last breath bending the knees and jumping or walking forward bending those knees rolling up through the spine bring the palms back towards facing each other inhale and with your exhale through the heart center release and relax let's go for a second set nice huge inhale with your exhale bending down releasing drawing those tippy toes back right foot is going to go back this time yeah trikonasana or warrior one i should say to begin with we're going to press the arms up you want to keep those fingertips in line with the shoulders reverse warrior taking that left arm or that front arm up towards the ceiling you want to again open that chest opening that heart center if you can you want to reach the fingertips as low down as possible without compromising so i still want you guys to keep those hips level as you can see and reaching back so as you can see not crunching into that lower spine yeah we want to avoid and alleviate any tension or any sort of injury that might be happening if we do tuck the pelvis good guys let's come down yeah chaturanga danasana let's move it forward that pelvis and that chest reaches down towards the mat inhale extend upward facing dog exhale pressing back into your downward facing dog we have our second side so we're going to press that right foot forward now bending those knees drawing out those left toes coming to your warrior one bend that knee guys tuck the tailbone reach that palm up and with your exhale coming into your reverse warrior here same same but different side yeah so when I mean same, same, drop the pelvis, guys. Tailbone tucking forward, opening up those ribs, belly pulling in, bending that knee down. Well done, guys. Beautiful. Extend those fingertips long. Let's do it. Almost there, guys. All right, let's come back down to your downward facing dog. Draw that front foot back towards the left or right towards left or left or right. 
good guys downward facing dog well done from there let's bend the knees and move back into our second child's pose for the day coming back with the hands behind the butt and just giving that chest that head and that upper body a nice relaxation well done everyone just hanging out for a few more counts and then when you are ready rolling up through the spine vertebra for vertebra well done guys Oof. All right, let's do a 180 and turn around, coming onto our sits bones when you guys are there and have enough room behind you. Of course, let's roll down, coming to our ball position. Cassie's just getting very excited and making sure that we are just doing all of this correctly, as always. All right, guys, drop those tippy toes down to the floor, coming to your triangle position. Hands are going to come above the head. We're going to go into a single leg chest lift here. Yeah, that right leg is going to start 90 degrees. Exhale to lift. Inhale to bend. So if you didn't realize already, we are going to move into some very simple calm abs today. No stress. Ten of these. We're going to press up from those lower abs, from those upper abs. That chest is expanding and reaching away from the mat. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lengthen down. Yeah, important is the breath. Working with that exhale and then that inhale. We lift up with an exhale. And with an inhale, we release. Well done, guys. Let's go for another five or four. Okay, exhale to curl. Yeah, trying to keep that neutral spine as strong as possible here. Well done, guys. Let's bring both legs up and just hang out here. All right, give yourself a nice break, guys. Well done. Shake it out. Ah, rocking those knees from side to side, forward and back, little circles. Just looking at Cassie for a small break. <laughs> she is making sure we are taking a break today. Thank you, Cassie. Well done, guys. A few more seconds here and then we will continue. So when you guys are ready, coming back on that back into that neutral spine. Well done, guys. That right leg is going to press up. We're going to go into another chest lift here with our développé. Sorry, not our développé, our grand batman. As you guys can see, you're extending those toes and those heels up to the sky. You're doing a nice set of eight grand batmans here with the right. And then we're going to move into the left. Exhale to um, bring that foot towards you. Inhale to lengthen from the hip. Keep lengthening from the hip, guys. One more to go. And holding that foot up, going for a beautiful hamstring stretch. Relax the head down. There is an extra bonus here. If you feel like extending that left foot nice and long, going to that full hamstring pull, be my guest. Well done, guys. All right. Second set, right? Let's reach the arms up. The left toe reaches up to the sky. And with an exhale, let's press the foot down and flex the foot. And flex. And flex. Good, guys. And kick. Well done and four and three and two and one good guys on your final one holding that left heel foot shin bone knee whatever is feeling good to you and stretching out there through that hamstring well done everybody good job feeling the flow but feeling the work as well i said it would be intense relaxed but intense relaxed but intense let's swing up all right, guys, coming into a very interesting shoulder support or back support exercise from one of my teachers. We're going to develop a now the right leg up to the ceiling or to the sky. If this is way too hectic for you, just keep the leg down. With a nice big exhale, I want you to press that foot down and bring the butt up towards the sky. Yeah? Inhale to lengthen down. We're going to do five on each leg. Exhale to press. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to press. Open that pelvis. Yeah, those sit bones should be squeezing together. You should be feeling the work in the hamstrings and the glutes. Please come to the belly as to alleviate any problematic or any problems that would happen in the lower back here coming down second side let's move straight into it guys and left leg is going to develop up inhale exhale let's go guys and just as we did that as we were getting intense the sun came out and cassie felt that one guys we have three and two well done guys last one exhale actually i'm lying we have one more to go <laughs> and up well done, guys. Done and relax. Good job. Give yourself a nice little curl over little break just to soften out. Everything is fine, Cassie. No stress there. Good, guys. Let's just turn around now, coming onto our bellies. We're going to do a little bit of an intense stretch here, yeah? But before we move into our boat, I want us to reach now the right tippy toes towards the butt and just pull that foot in towards our booty there. So getting a nice ham hamstring, a nice quadricep stretch, yeah? Well 
Well done, guys. And of course, we're going to have our second side. So we're kind of, as we're making kurzes Vorbereitung, we're just doing a small little preparation here for opening up those thighs and opening up those quadriceps, those hips, yeah, before we move into the final posture for today's session. Quite an intense one. So be, be gentle with yourself here, yeah. All right, guys, let's lengthen that leg back down. So right next to left. And then I want you guys to bend both knees in towards you and bring those feet towards the glutes. With a nice big inhale, we're going to prepare ourselves with an exhale, lifting that chest away from the mat, coming into your full boat here. Yeah, you want to press those feet against the hands, knees lifting off the floor. Exhale, 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 and release. Inhale, but keep the feet connected. Yeah, we do two more, guys. Inhale. Exhale, lifting up. Well done. Open the heart center. Pecs stretching out. Probably you're feeling that belly lengthening and also stretching. I definitely felt that. And relax. Our final one, guys. Let's kill it. Let's do it. Inhale with an exhale coming up. Well done, guys. Looking so beautiful. And breathe. Yeah, most important is to breathe. <laughs> and three, two, one. And we did it, guys. I'm so proud of you all. Bring those hands onto the shoulders and come back with me into your final child's pose for today's class. Well done, guys. That was great. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys. So let's turn around. Yeah. Just two little stretches to finish off today's session, just to lengthen and sort of, you know, get into those hips again, which can be quite, you know, quite, quite intense, particularly at these kind of times. So we're just going to lengthen them out and just let everything go. And by finding a nice twist here, I want us to draw that left knee over the right knee or that left foot, I should say, over the right foot. And then just twist around. So you want to hug yourself with that right elbow which comes over the left knee good and take that hand behind the sacrum opening up that chest beautiful and looking behind you if this is way too much you can also just keep your legs in a cross position i just want you guys to feel a nice upper body twist here good guys beautiful work and release let's go for our second side so now we're going to lower the left leg that right foot is going to come over or of course in front of you and you want to hug yourself with that knee so you want to go towards the knee right that left palm is reaching down to the floor, down to the mat, or lengthening out if you want that little added chest expansion there, which I do in some of my other classes. Beautiful, guys. Shoulders releasing away from the ears. Well done, guys. Should be feeling a nice stretch in the ITB, in the glutes. Good, guys. And then just releasing forward. I'm going to keep now my left knee over my right knee. No, I'm not. I'm going to change into my cross-legged position. Or I am going to bring that knee over the other one. So I have now my right knee on top yeah good so we're really going to get nice and deep into those hip crests by just bending forward from here so with this sort of cross over it can be quite intense for the internal hip region if this is as i said too intense for you we're going to stay for about 20 seconds please don't hurt yourself just come back to the cross leg position good and of course breathe guys breathe breathe i used to hate this one i still hate it but it's like a hate love <laughs> All right. As I said, hate, Cassie came back and made sure that we're not talking about that anymore. We are talking, of course, about love, creating good intentions and finding ourselves this full moon, right? Coming back to our God and our goddess, our power state. Well done, guys. Awesome work today. Let's come back to our cross leg position, our Schneidersitz. And just as we did at the beginning of the class today, let's place one hand on our chest and one hand on our belly. Yeah. Coming back to the beautiful intention that you found at the beginning of today's class or whatever that was. Maybe just connecting to that again. Maybe just connecting back to your breath. Maybe just feeling your body. Maybe just placing the hands on the knees. If you have a dog, maybe placing those hands on the dog and connecting with that, <laughs> with that beautiful dog. Beautiful, guys. Finding that alignment. Finding that pure awareness that now is the breath in space, in time. Yeah? And really taking this right now in this moment as your truth. It is what it is. And what it is is perfect. Awesome, guys. Keep the breath going. 
Nice big inhales, nice big exhales. Awesome, guys. All right. So I wish you a beautiful full moon in Leo. Ask yourself some questions. How could you be more confident? You know, what could you do that was more courageous during this time? And, and what opportunities can you chase by putting yourselves out there in this new full moon full with passion, fire, love, all the good things? Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today for this beautiful class. As always, feel free to write me at my email, which is empathy.bianca at gmail.com. Follow all of my classes here on YouTube at my Instagram, Bianca Fuchko. I look forward to seeing you in all of the next classes. And I thank you here from the beautiful Australia. Until next time, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to all of my workouts. Cassie and I would be very excited if you join those. They are up and we look forward to seeing you in the next workout. Until then, guys, be safe, be joyful, and take care of yourselves and, of course, your loved ones. Bye-bye.